Council meetings are long and boring. Wouldn't it be great if they were short and unboring? This is why I have invented the five minute meeting. All right. Action City Council meeting by August 4th. Uh, this one, too sick to Zoom. Not at the meeting today. Uh, this guy starts off with the, uh, uh, he goes, hey, statement about the video of the OSF actor uh, in the uh, county, uh, Jackson County drunk tank who was getting tossed around by the sheriffs there and he says uh, I don't think that's cool and the city attorney said hey no one at the city should make any comments about this at all whatsoever and this guy goes hey I move that we all agree with the mayor that this was uncool approved and then this guy goes uh, isn't there some big budget uh, committee application deadline coming up and the city administrator guy goes oh yeah yeah I was just about to say something about that, that yeah that deadline's Friday and then this guy goes hey uh, he says hey delight a uh, declaration uh, August 6 uh, 2020 is Hiroshima Day and August 9th is Nagasaki Day and and uh, it's a time to reflect and teach and learn about how bad uh, nuclear weapons are. That's good. And then uh, the city administrator's report. Well, yeah, uh, we start with a grant to, to is close to funding some kind of electric vehicles. And RVTV is about to play reruns of uh, previous year's city band performances, in case you're having trouble getting to sleep. Uh, and then something about shareholder engagement with electric contracts and distribution systems. And then the uh, Oregon, business Oregon grants of almost 100,000 went out to 36 local businesses and 22 homes are about to be built near the Billings Ranch area. And then uh, uh, the plaza shut down ha had some issues. And so next weekend, things are changing and there's going to be traffics allowed in the uh, uh, plaza, but there's no parking and there's more creekside seating and uh, any businesses who aren't on the plaza are uh, completely bummed because they're not in on the plaza auction. And then uh, this one said, said, jumped in and said uh, something regarding the biennium budget meeting, maybe, I think. And then she said uh, programmatic decisions. And she said, uh, digging in, those are important words. And then, uh, and then uh, she wanted budget numbers earlier. And then uh, the city administrator says, I don't know <laughs> what's gonna happen. And then this guy goes, he goes, hey, uh, we should just have a, a secret meeting about this, you know, a couple of us on the side. And this guy goes, he goes, I don't know, we're not in no rush on this. We should slow this down. And then consent agenda, boy, consent agenda. This guy jumped back in and said, hey, uh, uh, if we don't have a city supervisor anymore and we use the county supervisor, will services suffer? And the city guy said, yeah, but we'll save money. And this guy goes, ah, that's a bummer. All approved. And then uh, the social equity resolution. This one uh, this is her big deal. Uh, this is a long, uh, it's a long list of things. So maybe uh, some counselors can jump in and volunteer instead of having city staff do stuff. And she said, uh, she goes, hey, so like Juneteenth celebrations. And he goes, he goes, how much does that work? How does that work with city employee pay? And the city attorney said, well, that's going to be pretty involved. And she said, advocacy at the state level. And this guy goes, I'm, a, I'm in on that one. And then she says, now uh, issues A, B, C, I, and J, the city staff's gonna have to do all that. And then the city guy goes, I'll ask the department heads uh, which to pick their favorites. And then uh, this guy goes, uh, this guy goes, I'll let SOU students do uh, E. And then they say, all right, yeah. And then uh, this guy goes, I'm gonna do H. I think it has something to do with public art. And then uh, this one said, uh, she said, letter G, uh, that's uh, something to do with uh, uh, mental health training for cops. And then this guy goes, I'll do uh, a K. Uh, I'll do that one. That's my favorite one. And I think it has something to do with renaming uh, Dead Indian Memorial Road. And uh, so done. They all agreed on that. Did they share their screen on Zoom? Uh, you know, like pop a copy of the whole list that uh, none of us have seen, none of the public uh, has seen uh, during a meeting, like most Zoom meetings do. Did they? Of course not. Of course they didn't. And then uh, the ambulance study. Uh, well, a couple of meetings ago, the uh, city extended the city ambulance contract for three years because they had no idea, not even a ballpark, of how much that service cost the city. So they decided to pay a company to uh, tell them how much they were paying for ambulance services. And then and this today's discussion was uh, about what things these consultants were going to be uh, looking at. The fire chief was in on this thing. And uh, this one, of course, jumped in and said, oh, oh my God, are, are they considering how scared I am that county ambulances are way slower and super mean? And uh, then there's blah, 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 a lot of discussion. And this guy goes, oh, let's, just get the, let's just get the cost, okay? Let's just get that. Agreed. And then, oh, the water master plan. A uh, water lady came out, and guess what? She shared her screen on Zoom. Uh, graphics and everything. It was uh, for all the viewers. We ought to see it. I mean, the council must have thought she was a witch. Uh, and then uh, a point she made early on is that Ashland, our city specifically, is not required by the state to do any earthquake water supply assessment because of our specific geological location. And uh, I think we should all remember that one for the next city hall evacuation nightmare discussion. And then uh, this guy says, he goes, he goes, hey, uh, what, what's up with uh, CD, SDCs? And the city guy goes, oh, MS, the SDCs are the best. And then she goes, she goes, no, tell people what they are. And uh, he goes, he goes, oh, it's an apportioned share for a new development uh, reapportions as a ratio. It's 
uh, very bad explanation. Any build, new building, the city has to pay some big hefty fees for system development charges for a variety of permits. Uh, they're paying for uh, a lot of stuff because uh, that, that money goes to a lot of different projects, apparently. And uh, this guy goes, oh, this guy goes, he goes, what's up with TAP? TAP, and the city guy goes, oh yeah, we have a permit for a hundred, for a thousand acre feet of water from Lost Creek Lake. Uh, in an emergency, uh, but but we need to use it or lose it. We've never uh, really used it much, and so next year we need to really start using that stuff. And then uh, this guy goes, I, I move we approve the um, uh, water master plan. And that was all approved. And then oh, uh, hiring a new financial director. Uh, the council needs to agree on the criteria for the interview of the final applicants. However, the city staff has already narrowed it down to one person. It started with thirty, down to one, and. Uh, They've already offered the job pending background check. So council, the, the city guy said, you guys should all meet this person because uh, you, you can say no. Council can say no, but uh, this vote is uh, the council's thoughtful recommendations of the criteria they feel should be used in choosing a final candidate for the financial director, which has already been done. <laughs> uh, so this guy just said, uh, guys, I move, we rubber stamp, whatever it is the city just did. I'll approve. <laughs> End of meeting. Oh, man.